the first time that I saw a punker was in Singapore. That was in winter 2003. There's this beautiful colonial styled Raffles Hotel and inside it uh, they have a spot called the Long Bar. Um, it is well known for its cocktails and the fact that people throw their peanut shells on the floor. And on the ceiling they have uh, blades which are moving back and forth and by that create a gentle breeze. And these calming movements impressed me so much uh, that I decided to develop a 21st century version of this fan that would fit in modern environments. Mm, I then did some research on the web and found out that these fans are called panka, which is the Hindi word for fan. Um, they were invented in Arabia and became very popular in India. The first punkas were just palm leaves, but later they were made from fabric and wood. A servant had to pull on a rope to swing them. And later, punkers had electric motors. Um, until the beginning of the 20th century, um, they could be found in many places all over the world. And uh, the mass production of cheap rotating fans then stopped the area of the punker. was some investigation on similar products. Mm, but the only panka you can buy is the one I saw in Singapore. Uh, then I defined my target group, uh, which is uh, people with a sense of quality and style who are looking for an interior accessory uh, that is both functional and a lifestyle object. Um, I collected images of objects that are targeting at the same group and started to look at details of these products, so what shapes and materials have been used um, to get a basis for the appearance of my In December 2004, the first prototype of the Sapphire Punker was presented on a fair in Germany. Um, the Sapphire incorporated a lot of features that I found important for a modern interpretation of a Punker. It is powered by a linear drive to eliminate the up and down movements of the push rods. It is entirely made from aluminum and it even has a safety stop. But most important, it was very quiet and highly energy efficient. Unfortunately, it was also very expensive. Um, and there were um, some more tricky issues. Um, it had to be mounted to a ceiling in a very straight line. The tiny vibrations of the motor were transferred through the push rods to the blades and there they amplified. Um, there was also a problem with the wear of the sliding bushings uh, at the brackets. these issues were so serious I was unsolvable, but before continuing the development I wanted to see how it appeals to an international audience. So I presented the Sapphire at the hotel show in Dubai in 2005. Um, it was a success but I only had a prototype and I found out that potential clients are looking for two things the Sapphire could not do. One uh, was to run in different speeds, uh, the other was uh, a lower price. The Emerald was developed to be a little brother of the Sapphire, using a simple geared motor and parts made from lumber core plywood. Um, it was meant for a different target group and for areas with, um, which are a bit noisier, such as bars, lounges or lobbies. And the Emerald was a lot louder than the Sapphire. Um, it had no safety stop and it consumed more energy, but it was much less expensive. The Emerald had its uh, debut at the Index 2005 in Dubai. Um, the show was a complete disaster because uh, on day two the motor started to make weird noises. Um, I thought it was broken and since I did not have uh, a spare part with me, I had to switch it off for the rest of the show. Back home I learned that I could have fixed it with a soldering iron and a drop of tin. Well, that was bad luck. <laughs> I 
had to make a decision. Should I go for a mass market product that is cheap to produce? Um, that is in some way rather a replication than a new product? Or should I take a deep breath and find partners to go through the initial technical development process again? Uh, fortunately, I found good partners and uh, they came up with a lot of new ideas and a totally different technical pr uh, concept. Um, it was clear that the product we are developing will be an icon of luxury and taste and therefore we wanted to build the best punker in the world, the Solitaire. The Solitaire is exactly what I had in mind when I made the decision to develop a punker. It is very silent, um, it moves the blades with slow pendular strokes, uh, it is very energy efficient um, and it has some features uh, that are really unique. Different speeds are possible, up to 255 units can be synchronized, it can be mounted outdoors, it has an optional device called the Sense Trainer that exhales uh, aromas and perfumes, and there is a whole cosmos of different blade designs in all different materials. Solitaire is available in October and can already be ordered. Um, I really hope it becomes a success.